Hey everybody, this is Undead Viking. I'm just going to do a quick little uh, component uh, preview for you here. Uh, the kind people at Draw Lab Entertainment sent me some samples of their new legendary coin set. Now, I did one of these videos for the original legendary coin set that they had on Kickstarter uh, that did fantastic. And I have a bunch of those coins that I backed and got. Uh, the, the coins are amazing, and I'm going to be backing these as well. Uh, but like I said, luckily I just got a small little sample, one each of each denomination of the new set. And I just wanted to show these off for you a little bit. So the first set I'm going to show you, uh, this is called their unit set. Now, um, these uh, are just like what they just said, they're units. So you can see like there's a five and there's a three and there's a one. And I kind of put that backwards. Let me, you know, go left to right or what have you. And so as you can probably see, and I'm just going to show you these closer, these dice just have that number on them like so. So there's like a five there. They have, you know, the writing on the other side. Now, these don't really have a distinct theme. They have really cool artwork on the back as well, obviously. Um, but these would be something I could see, um, like, kind of being used. I mean, I, obviously, like, these dice just... I mean, not dice. These these, these coins look amazing. But um, these would be something that you could use in nearly almost any game. Uh, you could use them as victory points. You could use them as the coins. Um, you know, just because of the fact that, uh, you know, they are... Uh, just kind of um, theme neutral, if you will. And these are very thick. They're very heavy. Just like if you if you saw the the legendary coins from the original one, you you'll know um, what I'm talking about. They're really really cool. Uh, the next one, this is their kind of like a futuristic set. This is the cyberpunk set. So um, these do not. There's there's two that don't look, you know, like coins. They look like futuristic money. Because, you know, in the future we won't use coins anymore. We will just have, um, like, you know, boxes for our coins or whatever. And so they have the circuitry on it that's actually really cool. And this is, like, the copper one. And so then there's the, you know, the picture of the, like, android or whatever. You know, I don't know what, you know, maybe it's like some sort of the ghost in the machine type of thing going on there. Um, and then here is the, the silver one. Uh, apparatus potent. On the other side, some more circuitry, and then here's the gold. And I like I like this uh, kind of like uh, cyber skull, if you will. And you can see you can see the the words on the outside there. And I think it says, if I remember, it's like potence machina horde infirmus, whatever that means. <laughs> it just it, it, it's suitably uh, cyberpunky. And then on the back, you have uh, that cool circuitry once again. All right, so really, really cool. Like you know, obviously, if you play Shadowrun or play any kind of a futuristic game where you want to have that as your currency, uh, will definitely work for you. Um, this next is the Sparta set. Now I'm going to show you something that's really cool. First, I'm just going to kind of here's the copper, and so and on the back you have you know this big check mark. Now notice this is kind of distressed in the side, and it's kind of like it's it's got that. Um, like, you know, either, like, somebody shaved off part of the coin. I really like that look. It, it's like, um, here's the, the Spartan helmet. And, you know, on the back side, like so. And I really like it on this one. So you can see, once again, the Spartan helmet, the gold coin. But on the back, with the circle, it looks like it's almost kind of bent. You know, just because of the way that it, it's made, you know, the, the design. But it isn't. You know, it's, it's just kind of like, it's thinner on that side than, say, over here. And, and once again, like I said, these are just very nice and heavy coins as well. Um, the next one uh, is going to be the Egyptian set. And um, I can think of countless board games that are based uh, in the Egyptian era or during that time frame. And so these would be good. Now, this is kind of cool how the silver coin is actually bigger than the gold coin. But um, So here's the copper, you know, just... Uh, once again, the artwork and the 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 the, the styling is is, is wonderful. Um, here, I like the onk on that one a lot, and like the uh, the eye of of what is it, Mott? I think uh, maybe I can't. No, that's something different. I apologize. But and there you go, you know, and Anubis and whatever. And then here's the gold coin. Here, I can turn that so it's facing the right way. So. Pretty cool, right? You know, and and um, you know, so I, I and you know, I like I, once again, 
good thick coins and very heavy as well. Um, I just, that's one of the things I like about these metal coin set is the weight of them, and these do not disappoint as far as that's concerned. Um, okay, this is uh, probably my, of the sets, this is my third favorite. Um, this is the, uh, the Roman set. And I, one of the reasons I like the Roman set is all the coins are the same size, so I can actually do my, my poker chip uh, flip because they're the same size. But anyway, so, uh, but no, and I, I like the design, and like I said, these, these like, once again, feel really heavy, and they're, they're very uh, present, if you will. I like the Colosseum on that one. Uh, the silver has uh, the cross sword, the SPQR, uh, and then finally the gold. And, you know, um, these are, as I said, you know, like, you know, really well done. I mean, and that isn't, that isn't like just a, like that that's actually like an etching you know each one of those little uh like like feathers or whatever is like a ridge you probably can't hear me scratching out with my thumb there but i mean it isn't just like it's it's a drawing or whatever that is an imprint on there and um you know really really nice and that's that's of of these this is that's my third favorite so number 2 is going to be and this is this is a set that i'm going to definitely back and get cuz i'll have a lot of use for them is the cthulhu set so starting with the bronze um you know, you have, and I have so many Cthulhu games where I'm going to be able to use this as uh, the currency or just as victory points or as tokens um, that I'm going to, I'm going to get a bunch of these. Uh, and so here's, uh, oops, that, that, I need to show you the silver first. Um, so I, you know, there's, there's good old Cthulhu and kind of like a weird, um, when I saw this, I thought 2001, you know, the space baby kind of thing. I don't know, that's what I just thought of, but there's Cthulhu and some weird little etchings on the side, you know, some, some scrawled runes. And on the other side, you know, like an elder sign type or pentagram, if you will. And I mean, just look at all those little tiny words and everything. You can see Cthulhu Fatagan there, you know, or whatever, how you, where you pronounce that. I mean, just, I, I can't imagine. I mean, it's just, and, and it's, that's, they're very, it's, you know, you can tell on the camera. You can actually just read it really well. And finally, here we go, the classic, like, you know, Cthulhu face for the gold coin on the back. There's your elder sign. There's your elder sign. Anyway, so yeah, pretty awesome. And once again, look at all that little etching or whatever on the outside. And I mean, the fine detail on these is is crazy and, and crazy good. And so here's uh, my favorite set, and it's because it is uh, the Viking set. So here we go. Um, and, I, and even though these are kind of tiny, and like this is probably one of the, like, I think this is the smallest coin, so I think it's even smaller than this unit one. No, they're about the same size, but it just seems tinier for whatever reason. Um, you know, you have the Viking sword, and then you have the Viking horns on there. And I have lots of Viking-themed games, so I definitely am going to get to see some use from these. Um, there we have Thor, uh, Thor's hammer on, on one side, and some nice rune work on the outer edge. And then, once again, some more runes. A good symbol in the middle there. And finally, we have, and I love this design on the back, just because it's, it seems like it's like crazy and chaotic, but it really isn't when you look at it, because it is actually like fairly intricate and has purpose for the gold. And then the other side, you have a wonderful Viking design on there. And I don't know what that means. I wish I should look it up, but in the runic alphabet, I, I'll probably do that after I get out of here, but very nice. And I, I love the Viking, the Viking coins, obviously, you know, because why wouldn't I? So there you go. Um, so that, those are the legendary coins that uh, you can pick up in this most recent uh, component set. And um, like I said, I have, uh, I'm, I don't usually pimp out my games uh, just because I have so many. Uh, but um, the coins for these, uh, like, I mean, there's lots of, like, it seems like everybody seems to be doing a... Uh, like a metal coins type of thing or, or you know like to to uh increase and and i can see like i said multiple uses for these you know, like as far as both of the rpgs and board games uh but the the previous legendary coins kickstarter um i had all the coins and all those different sets were amazing and i and i have them i have a bunch of each of them and i'm going to do the exact same thing with this just because you can't beat the quality on these they're they're heavy, uh, they 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 stand up, uh, they they're very durable, and I mean and if you have a game 
um, you're going to find a use for almost like the Roman or the Spartan or whatever. And especially these unit ones, like I really like that because of the fact that they can even be used for like victory points and things like that as well. And I, I can see myself, I know I'm going to get a bunch of those, you know, amongst other things as well. So, so there you go. Uh, that was uh, the new legendary coin set. If you uh, want to, if you have any questions about it, by all means, you can ask away. Um, go check out the Kickstarter and uh, go look at your uh, board game shelf and figure out uh, which ones, which, which what's your favorite board game? How you wanna, how you wanna, you know, upgrade the uh, the the currency that's within that, and then figure out if there's a there's a set over here that you think would fit well with that. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Um, until next time, this is me, the Undead Viking, telling you to have yourself one heck of an awesome.